Yo, what's up and welcome back. Today we have a very, 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 very cool puzzle. This is from MW Puzzles. It is called The Bandit. This is a puzzle that looks like a slot machine, a sequential discovery puzzle, which means there are tools that we'll find inside that we'll discover that'll help us open the box here. And essentially we have to repair this slot machine. So we gotta find the ID card, we gotta find the coins, uh, we gotta fix this slot machine somehow. This is probably gonna take a while. It is a very difficult puzzle as most of these sequential discovery puzzles are, but these are my favorite by far. And before we get into it, Last thing, these, as some of you know, are the Vectech playing cards that we released with our escape game. However, you could only purchase these cards with the purchase of one of the escape games until now. We are now releasing individually these playing cards. So if you were ever curious or ever wanted to pick these up, or if you already picked up the escape game and wanted more of these cards, now's your chance. They are on sale. They're about 12 bucks each and they're available at first.shop. I left the link below while supplies last. Check them out. Without any further ado, let's solve this puzzle. Check this out. I'm very excited about this puzzle. MW Puzzles, very cool logo. Um, I'm excited about this puzzle because this puzzle reminds me a lot of the puzzles we used to do here. Uh, we did a lot of Will Strebo's sequential discovery puzzles in the past, years ago, and we've pretty much ran through all of Will's puzzles. Um, and today, I mean, this, is, this isn't a Will Strebo's puzzle, but it does feel like that. It's, it's heavy, you know, there's some metal here. It's a sequential discovery puzzle. Um, looking forward to solving this. Before we start, Let's take our time here. Also, we might need, got a pen and a pad, just in case we need to, uh, just in case we need to write down some things. We'll keep that aside. Let's go through the entire puzzle and show you guys what we're dealing with. So, the very top, we have a light here. Uh, this looks like, this looks like it can be unscrewed. I won't do that yet. Uh, it's the one thing that I've noticed from this puzzle when I was handling it. I was just kind of like fidgeting with it and then found that. So there is a light here and I'm not sure if that's a light or if that's just like, if there are just like some other components in there that we'll need to solve. Cause this is a discovery puzzle, sequential discovery. There are tools. There's one of the, uh, one of the logos there. To be noted, this piece of glass here, uh, will not touch it. It used to have a sticker said, do not press. And I pressed and the sticker or the glass that is here uh, actually fell off. We had to re-glue it and I've learned my lesson since. <laughs> uh, so that's the top, has this plate here as well. On this side we have, now what's interesting here is that there are these Allen key. Now I, the goal here is to sort of fix the puzzle. I don't know if to do that, I would, I would assume we'd have to take it apart, but I also, don't want to assume too much because there are a lot of these Allen keys, including down here, including over here on this side. So maybe including back here, hopefully we don't have to disassemble it entirely. I think that would be a bit of a shame. There's this part here, which underneath, as you notice, are some metal components under there. So that's carefully hidden. The front side of it has this slot here. Uh, it has obviously the screen and another slot here. And then on this side, we have the lever, which doesn't rotate all the way around. Uh, actually, it does rotate all the way around. It's just this thing stops it. Uh, so this rotates. And by the looks of it, is attached on the inside. Uh, it's going to be hard for you to see. It's a little faint. Maybe I can actually get um, my phone light to help out here. Not really. It's just causing another reflection. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, this this is uh, this is a tinted piece of glass, but on the inside, which will be a little hard to see, beside the wheel with the all the the images on it, the slot wheel, there is something that's turning on the inside there, 
And not only is it turning, it has what seems to be a cog attached to it. And that cog might be attached to, you see this metal bar that's going across the middle? There's another cog on the end of that and they're very close together, but they are not attached. And my guess is when those two things end up touching, then I'll be able to perhaps turn the images that you see on the slot game itself. Uh, we've got a hole here. Not sure what that does. We've got this here. Not sure what that does either. We've got a hole here. Something here. In the bottom. Uh, this looks like it slides out, by the way. And I'm not sure if that's... And, and there's this. Jeez, there's so many things here. There's a hole here. Another one here. Looks like a small screwdriver could fit in there. But on the bottom here, as you can see, there are two of these little holes this back part might just slide off. And if that's the case, uh, this is probably the key, or this actually, maybe one of these two, uh, to opening it up and fixing it on the inside. So a lot to go over. This probably won't take 30 minutes. It'll probably take a lot of time. So there are limited of 350 of these, 75 of each color. There are red, there are blue. I'm not sure of the other ones. These are initially about $450 retail, uh, and they are pre-order only. Here is the description. The bandit is broken and in need of repair. To retrieve the jackpot coins, you will need to find the tools to fix the machine and then retrieve your ID card and silver coin to win the jackpot. Hand machined with premium walnut sides, aluminum and brass components. This is sure to be a premium piece within your collection available in four colors. Each puzzle as part of the solve will also be complete with a numbered plate. Make sure you don't miss out and secure your pre-release. So there it is. That is all we got to go on. We gotta, we gotta open it up. We gotta open it up and figure out uh, how to fix it. There's a coin on the inside. There's all sorts of things happening. So without any further ado, let's go. Uh, like I said, I do believe that this was, see I can screw that. And I believe I can unscrew it but it's not going up anywhere. Or is it? Wait, what is this? Did that just pop out or was that there? <gasps> That's so cool. So take a look at this little bolt here. As I was unscrewing, notice it's flush. But as I'm unscrewing, it's starting to come out. How cool is that? What a cool feature. I wanna make sure it comes all the way out. Is that it? I'm not exactly sure what that does right now. Aha, it is now unscrewed. Right, so when doing this, it was pressing up on, as you can see, there's a screw in there, like a bolt, and it was pushing up with that plate that was there. Aside from that, I'm not gonna force anything, but there we go, that might be our first tool. Notice it has uh, kind of like a screwdriver edge. And we did see something similar, namely this here, where I think that would fit in. So let's try it out. Okay, as much as that does fit perfectly, I'm having a really hard time gripping it to be able to turn it. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wait. Does this fit here, by the way? It does not. All right. Maybe there's another tool that we need to attach to this part because right now, as it stands, I'm trying to, like I can obviously fit it into there. It does fit perfectly well, but uh, no matter what direction I try spinning it in, it's just stuck. I need more leverage. What about back here? Oh, hold on. We have this hole here. Indeed, it does. Oh. I just pulled this. I'm not sure that that is supposed to do that, but right now that is on the inside. And if I... Oh, see how it far... See how far in it goes? Oh, understood. At least I think I understood. 
So right now, it's hard to see in here, so I'll draw it out for you. This is the inside here. We have the bolt here and the bolt here, which is this and this, okay? So this is your glass. That's up, your glass is up against it. And you have these bolts traveling through it, okay? Uh, both bolts right now, this is a terrible drawing, from the side, so if we're looking at it like this, you have what looks to be a chamber here and a chamber here. In that chamber, there is a piece that looks like this. And, oh, sorry, this goes down, this comes up further. And what's happening now is that this piece here is preventing this from sliding down through here, is preventing this from sliding. These two things are, I don't know if you can see, it's very hard to see, but there is, this happening on the inside. So my guess is I have to remove or extract both of these pins here in order to uh, slide this down. So this first one, boom, I think that's good. I think that's all I need to do here. I think it's just this one, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to unscrew this. Oh, it does look like it's unscrewing. <gasps> I pulled it. All right, I've pulled both. So right now, both of these pins have been retracted uh, so that this can move freely, this piece that's on the inside. As you can see here, oops. Is this another tool? <laughs> We're getting another tool perhaps? I mean, it does fit. Oh, this here, there's a there's this shaft that goes all the way through with, uh, it's got a cog here and a cog here and then another sort of cylinder here with holes in it. And the screw that I just put in is making this turn. And by doing that, I'm able to push it in a little bit. Oh, and by doing that, this shaft is now attached to the other shaft that this is attached to. Therefore, that's so cool. All right, my guess now is that I somehow have to line up you see these symbols, the MW symbols, his logo? You got one over there, one in the middle, and one right there. For sure, I have to line those up somehow. Okay, I love this so far. So far, there's progress, the tools make sense. Um, there was this, however, which we don't yet have a use for. Okay. Now, on the bottom, on the front of this plate, so right here, where this part is, I'll draw it how I see it. And there's a screw here, and that is attached to another shaft that is here. Now, those two are attached to the sides, but not uh, visible. The front plate is attached to this. So this here and whatever was under here in the first place has something to do here. I feel like something needs to be pulled or turned. Not too sure. Very interesting. But so far, I don't know if you can make that up, but the inside of that can turn now. So that's very cool that we have that. Oh, I just turned it. Oh! <gasps> 
Okay, this shaft, <laughs> bear with me here. There is this initial shaft here that we, uh, that we ended up turning, uh, which turns with the lever, right? The lever, which turns this, also turns this, which then turns the, the drawings, right? It turns the drawings because of this is attached to this because this pushed into that. Okay, fine. However, I'm gonna draw the wheel from the back now. Okay, so this is, this is the wheel with the, uh, the different symbols on it. Okay. There is a shaft that goes here that that wheel is attached to this wheel, which is attached to the handle. So that makes this turn. Okay. That's totally fine. We get that. That's how it turns. But this, so that's that. This one here, there's one that goes across like this. That is controlled by that little screwdriver that I just inserted right here. Turning the screwdriver rotates the shaft and the shaft has magnets at different points. So what I have to do, I believe, is make sure This is again, oh yes. Notice how now, notice how it stopped, right? Okay, let's find the other magnet now. By the way, super hard to turn this thing. I am still not convinced that there is another piece that I need here. Cause I can only turn it like this. That's, that's all I can do here. Now, if I turn this inwards, there we go. Now the magnet should stick. See the magnet, it, it sticks on this end. There's one magnet sticking on this end. Now maybe here, and now the other end. There's only two magnets, by the way. So the one in the middle, there is no magnets. And there's one on that end, one on this end. And there's one on here. And then there's one on the other side, the same placement. So I can rotate those and the magnet will be in different spots, which allows me to stop this and this side of the game. Right now, for some reason, it's stopping all sides. Oh, the sevens are so close. Maybe I have to stop the sevens. Okay, I think I got all sevens lined up. Although it does get caught on the sevens. You know, this is really hurting my fingers. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. But the sevens are lined up now, sort of, right? Wait, what if these have to go in instead of out? Although this does seem loose now. Oh, this would be so great if I could take this out. Hmm. What does that bottom shaft have to do with anything? All right, I still think my best bet here is to manipulate the magnets in a way that allows all the sevens to be lined up. This is wild, Oh. I mean, the stars are almost lined up. The sevens were lined up for a second. The sevens seem to be the ones that were magnetic, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's, I'm pretty sure it has to be like, it would make more sense if it was like his logo, wouldn't it? Plus it's right there, which is like maybe a clue. But if I go here, now the magnet is pointed towards uh, this right side. And if I go around, see it'll stop at the seven. Very bizarre. Now I can turn all three. I'm still convinced that I need another tool for this because this is really hard to manipulate. Three crowns, the three horseshoes. We wanna line up, we definitely wanna line up the three logos, but again, like I said, they stop on the sevens. The magnets have them, so maybe it is the sevens. 
sometimes this thing turns and sometimes it doesn't. It's slowly rotating. All right, it doesn't get more lined up than that, I think, right? I mean, that should be like Jackpot City. Yeah, that is pretty lined up. Not sure where to go from here. If this should open up or something, something about this as well. All right, what if? Oh, there's a bearing in there. Okay. In this shaft, there's a bearing sitting right there. So there is this piece of metal that goes like this. There's a bearing here. This is attached to this screw here and it's crushing the bearing, holding it there. This one has a piece going like this and that's attached to that. And then here is like the shaft where this travels through. So my guess is that this either has to be pressed in or pulled out, right? Oh, I just pushed it. What does that do? I pushed this in, it then pushed, by pushing this in, it pushed this shaft up. So now it's like halfway. Now I can push and pull these, these two sort of shafts. I can push and pull them. I don't know what that does for me though. That's gotta be a jackpot. I know it has something to do with these two things being not attached to it. Wait, what about this? Does this do anything? Oh, is this? Oh, let's go. Oh my God, so much easier now. So much easier now. Okay, let's try to line up these sevens here. What if the goal isn't, yeah, to line up the sevens though? So what's on the opposite side of this seven? It's a diamond. Let me try something. Interesting. Well, we're I think close to an hour now. sounds like it's like cranking something like it's gonna spring back or something but it never does there's no real uh, friction to any of this I can only line it up on the sevens oh wait close we got like two almost Usually it would spin two of them, like the magnet would hold one back and it would spin two, but right now, I think there's something loose in there and it's not gripping the two as it normally would, like it normally did at the beginning. I don't know why that is. I'm trying to speculate, but I think I can spin all three, no problem. I can spin two when it's the end of this one. I have yet to find the coins, the ID card. Uh, the ID card, I think, might be this thing here. But uh, this one's definitely uh, in the category of difficult, which I like. None of that moves. None of this really does anything. So at this point, it really is about figuring out whatever this shaft does and aligning the jackpot symbols, which I can't do. I do believe that at, at first, see how like two of these can turn independently? I could do that on either side when I place the magnet on either side. Now, 
I can't do it on this side. It just stops spinning altogether. I think the elastic in there is maybe loose. Now, I'm, I'm jumping to conclusions here, but I mean, it's a, kind of feels like, feels like I should be able to turn this. I just don't know why. There also seems to be a spring down here. There's like this wheel with this spring attached to the axle that goes across here. But this is a, a spring and it looks like this wheel has like a switch, like a step. I'm not sure how to activate that. My guess would be it has something to do with this mechanism here. Okay, today is actually the next day. Uh, I spent a total of maybe an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours on this puzzle. And I just felt uh, it was a little late. I was getting a little hungry. So the best thing to do in those circumstances, as you know, is just take a break and, you know, sit back, relax, think about the puzzle, let it, uh, let your mind sort of wander. Now yesterday, or <laughs> I guess it doesn't really change anything for you guys, but, uh, one thing I did notice that the magnet in the back, there's two magnets here. The one that, that sticks on this side, normally those two other rolls would keep going. And for some reason, now they won't. So, I'm gonna try to get them to move again. Yeah, now they're stuck again. I was really hoping it would just let go. Because this one does it no problem. As you can see, once I stick the magnet on this end, I can still get the other two reels to keep moving. And by the way, one thing I think I figured out. Yes. The clicks you're hearing uh, happen when this logo appears. So... I think that's the goal here is just to get, the, I've lined up the sevens because the sevens are where the magnets are, but that's a bit of a red herring. It isn't necessarily what you have to line up because you can see as soon as I get to there, that's when I hear the click. So some have to line those up, but it, I mean, it's kind of impossible if I can't, if I can't move, oh, 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 okay. The reels are moving. The reels are moving. Nice, okay, we got them to move. So there's one there. Now if we can stick that one, but it won't stick because it's not on the seven. It's really just a matter of trying to fit them all now. I think two of those are now lined up. Let me see. Oh, almost. Okay. So the only way I can really see these are like from the back because once the magnet sticks to the back of the seven, these aren't visible. So it's really impossible for me to know where they are. So I got to kind of figure it out like this. Now, this is really, really good. I'm in a really good position here. There we go. That should have two of them lined up. Yes, look at that. Great, now for the third one, I guess all we would really need to do is just lock it into place on the last one here and move these two, hopefully. All right, we should be good. That should line up all three. There it is. That's all three. You hear a big click there, right? Which, what does that do? What does that big click do? What does that open up? I'm trying to figure out. Has something to do with this pole on the inside? Do I, can I now retract something? Can I now push something in? Can I now take something out? I don't know. <clears throat> right now it looks like, uh, looks like nothing's happening. Hmm.
I will remove this so that we can't spin it anymore. As we are now on the jackpot symbols. I'm sure there's a coin in here that has to come out. Somehow. Just don't see how. This, by the way, being semi-opaque does not help our cause whatsoever. Yeah, at this point, I don't really know what to do because I have figured out the jackpot. I, that Of that, I am certain. You know, the fact that you heard the clicking sounds, it is his logo. I feel like there is some type of like spring mechanism that's supposed to like... I'm just trying to line them up even more now, maybe. Because look, clearly there is a click here when all three are aligned. So that's what you have to do. I guess mine just aren't aligned perfectly, maybe. It's the only thing I can think of right now. So I tried to just take off the, so remove these things so that they're not touching this glass pane anymore. Maybe there's something with this glass, this piece of plastic that I have to move around. I'm still very confused about what the point. So let me draw out another thing for you here. So if we're looking at it from this angle, okay, there's the big wheel with all the, uh, with all the slot symbols, the reel, if you will. And so we have this one with the magnets. This one has the magnets on both ends that we rotate. We have another shaft here that ends up rotating this thing, which is connected to the other side. And then if we're looking at it straight on, that's where we have this first screw going in, the second screw going in here, this weird shaft, the ball bearing stuck here, and this, so I can push this up if I push this in. Aside from all of this, what I'm noticing is right here, I don't know if this has to do with anything, but there is this uh, sort of jagged ridge and underneath this is another pole and there's a lot of pieces in here. And then to boot on this side, I don't know if you guys can catch that at all, but down there, there is, there's that and that has a step to it with a spring that's loaded. So it looks like what I thought was as soon as you hit the jackpot, something would shoot out. That's what I thought. Maybe maybe whatever that is, isn't uh, in a place where it can shoot out. But again, my brain goes to, ah, the puzzle must be broken. Like that's what happens with sequential discovery puzzles a lot of the times. You skip a step or you missed a step, the thing doesn't work the way it should. And then we start thinking that the puzzle's broken rather than going back and redoing what you did because there's so many things to retrace. It's really hard. It's really hard to figure out what exactly went wrong or if anything did go wrong. You're just guessing you're kind of in the dark, quite literally. There's something I need to push there. I need to turn the wheel that's down here, this shaft that you can see down there, okay? On the end of that, there's a small peg right there. That might be able to hit the step if I can get that peg to turn somehow. How do I get that peg to turn? I don't know, because it's not attached to anything on the sides. Ah, this thing is going to get this shaft to turn once it goes down. This will have to move down a little bit. That shaft will turn. And there's the peg. And it will hit this, uh, this step that's there. That will probably... Okay, so however... I have to do that, whatever that is. However, I have to do that. I don't know, is that with a coin? How do I get that to go down? This, whatever we're looking at here needs to be pushed down in order to turn this, uh, rotate the shaft so that the pin hits the step, the step hits something else and it goes off. That's where we're at right now. And I'm guessing all of that has something to do with these two screws here, but I'm not sure don't get the point of this. I don't understand what this does. It's not, it doesn't look like it's connected to anything at all. 
I grabbed a little light so we can see a little bit more of what's going on now. After reading the instructions again, it does say retrieve the ID card first. Now, you can tell by the little light. Here's a clear image of what's happening on the inside. So as you can see, maybe you can't, but there is over here that jagged shaft going down, which will in turn flip this, uh, flip this pole here which will then push out the front of it, it looks like. Uh, but as you can see on the bottom, right there is an ID card, that little square notch. And you can see it right here. There's like a small sort of gap. And what I just noticed is that this hole is not like the others, but can actually fit this screw. So maybe, just maybe, no, oh, I thought for sure. This looks like it fits in there. Oh, it definitely does screw in. This is how you retrieve the ID card. What is that doing? What is that pushing down there? It's so bizarre. Because that definitely does have, you can definitely screw something into there, but it doesn't do anything. Clearly this was put there for a reason. Gotta be how you take the ID card out. You can see the ID card. Uh, where can you see it here? You can see it right there. It's kind of cool that you can see the mechanisms. This is a really cool puzzle. Difficult, but very cool. I don't want to force. Stop forcing. What does that do? It doesn't help me retrieve the ID at all. What if... What if we haven't found all the tools yet? Oh my goodness. We have another tool. Maybe this is what we were looking for over here. No, but there definitely is something there. Yeah, I don't know I don't know what to do with this piece, but I know we have another tool now. Why would this come out? This was in there like that. Why would that come out? Why would this Come out. <sighs> this is infuriating. Every time I think I'm closer, I get another tool, but then it just leaves me with more mystery. Why give me this tool if I already had this one? Like, what's the point of that? Like, the only other place that that would fit is up here where initially this was. But by the looks of it, there's really nothing that I gain from, from, you know, screwing that in there. That's the next step. The next step is the ID card. And I think it has something to do with this. Cause that Allen key hole is smaller than all of the other Allen key holes. So my educated guess would be there is another tool somewhere that I haven't found yet. The most exciting thing to happen was this thing and which I thought maybe in here there might be some type of Allen key, but uh, apparently not. I'm so determined to get this. I think this is the next step. I don't think this has anything to do with anything. As far as I can tell, it's completely useless. Probably wrong, but I don't see, it's just not physically attached to anything else. The only thing that it would have been attached to maybe is that cog that allowed the wheel to spin, which we already did, so. This row, right, you have this like row of teeth coming down, is very close to a cog here, the cog that is attached to the pole uh, that we were spinning before to make the, you know, to make the entire thing spin. Uh, that is very, very close to that. So I'm thinking this just has to connect to that so that when I spin the thing, it'll go down and a coin will pop out. That is where we're at right now. This looks like it might be able to move somehow. That's how you get like the card out maybe. This moves, okay, hold on. Not sure if it's this whole bottom plate that moves or if it's the uh, just this here, but there is some movement here. Seems to be moving. <gasps> oh, there we go. Wait, is this normal? 
<gasps> Bandit. <laughs> we have the ID card. Wait, does the ID card fit in here? It does not. So that is the ID card, maybe here. All right, we found the next step. ID card successfully retracted. Not sure, however, what to do with it. Now, if you look over here, there is a bit of a notch in this. I don't know why that notch would be there, but it isn't enough for this. Every time you think you're getting a step further, you're just kind of stopped once again with another another puzzle. I don't see where the ID card would go though. Is there is the ID card a tool or is it just a prize? All right. This also moves back and forth. So both the top and the bottom can move back and forth. What does that do? This naturally this would like shift up or down, right? Let's see what this is actually doing here. In the back, it doesn't seem to be affecting anything back here. So probably only affecting something up here somehow, some way. Aha. Look at the bottom. I can move this. What does that do? I can move this coin here, but uh, I'm not sure what that does. Definitely that's what this slot is for so that I can move this thing. And there is a small tiny gap here where I feel like the coin could rest, but it's not going through. What does that do? Again, I find another, you know, move and I'm left with just more questions than answers. And the last thing I wanna do is just break anything at this point, so. I'm about to write the creator of this puzzle. I think it might be broken. At this point, I've spent well over four hours on it, and all right, from what I've gathered, <laughs> there are a few mechanisms at play, and one of which, the most important, is the jackpot, which I've got, which, as you can hear, I've lined up. My guess is the jackpots trigger a little step down here. The step pushes on the shaft, makes it go like this, which then pops out this plate. There's a small pin right there in the middle. There's two coins trapped right here. Those two coins will then drop out. I take those two coins, I press them in here. Here on the inside of this is this little jagged piece, this here. So the coins are gonna press here, pushing this towards these two cogs. That way now when I spin this, when I go, when I spin the, uh, the lever, it will now go downwards. As it goes down, with the help of this here, because uh, there's a slot here, obviously, for that. So this is made to just line up the coin because if you can see right there, there's a place for that coin to come through, but that coin needs to come up so it can get through. Right now, it's just against a wall. So I need to move this whole thing up. And the only way I can move all of this up, I believe, is by putting the coins in. Once I put the coins in, I start turning. I think that thing will go up. It'll drop the last coin. So what my belief is right now is that the mechanism, the blue thing, you can faintly see it there, has a step on it, which will start all of this process. And I believe the whole process starts as soon as you hit jackpot. And I know I talk about this a lot and, and, and sometimes, you know, it's just, uh, I've, I think I've fully understood how this puzzle functions which tells me that I'm right, by the way. All right, folks, this is day number 
three. Busy schedule, so we've got things I can't spend more than a few hours a day trying to solve this puzzle. Uh, this is day three. We've got all of this. Uh, now, one thing I wanted to check is I had Antoine, um, just to make sure we're not wasting our time, I had Antoine make sure everything functioned properly on this puzzle, and he did see that something was not functioning the way it should have. Uh, not the creator's fault, not my fault, but sort of due to the conditions. So what happens is that wood will expand and contract depending on different temperatures and different humidity. And that's exactly what happened here. So uh, we have found this and I knew that that there's a coin in here, right? Like we've gone through this before that there's a coin uh, and I can use this here, for instance, one second. Basically, uh, this card here will push aside this tiny coil loaded uh, slot for the coin. And it is lined up with a sort of small slot on the inside where it, where it can fall through, but it is not lined up uh, vertically. And so, and this is exactly what I thought, this had to move back and now this entire thing goes up as you can see just like that and now we can see the coin so that is something that obviously i could not have uh that is something i could not have found without you know the help of antoine and and really figuring that part out because i wouldn't have forced it i, d I wouldn't want to break it so now that we know that, it's very cool. We can probably, yes, extract the coin. Now that we have the coin extracted, do we put the coin in here? So something, this now, this little shaft, or not a shaft, this, this sort of a jagged edge needs to come in contact with uh, the rest of it so that it can come downwards, thus pushing open the spring here, uh, releasing the two other coins. That's what we're hoping for right now. So to do that, however, I do need to connect the shaft to the reels by doing this. Now the reels are connected. Let's just make sure the magnets aren't touching. Good. Right. Oh, there it is. And a little bell sound. Incredible. <laughs> How does that coin come out now? Is it stuck? I think I need to press down on it still. There we go, and the coin comes out of the other slot. How freaking cool. That is so cool. What a cool way to end. That you win the coins and the jackpot and everything else. Oh, what a journey. Um, honestly, that journey would have been a lot less long because I really, I, I'm proud of myself because I really, you know, with the help of all these really bad drawings, I deciphered sort of how this puzzle works and that's really cool. It's fun to be able to do that. Um, I figured out as well that this part here with these two screws, I think was simply, uh, this screw here was simply so I can get this one out because I use, I don't know if you remember, I use like the edge of my fingers but by pushing this one, it would push that one out, which would make it a lot easier. And that's the only thing that this did was give me a tool so that I can, you know, press it in there. So I overthought this whole function because I couldn't really see what was going on because of the, you know, the opaque, the semi-opaque sort of glass here. So it, this gave me a hard time just because I really thought there was something else, uh, but it kind of acted as a sort of red herring in that uh, regard. So now, now that we have all this, how do we reset? We need those coins back in here, which I think the only way to do that is to put this coin back in. Put 
Yep. Ooh, it's kind of trapped now. I'm going to really get it in. There we go. And now we got the coin out, but now we've also, I hope, as you can see, there's that little um, spring that's there in between those two coins. That should pop up right now. There it is. So that's holding those two coins in place, which is very cool. This now goes back in here. What a really cool uh, sequential discovery puzzle. One of, one of, I mean, the most uh, satisfying, but also the most stimulating that I've solved in a long time because there's always something, there's always a tool, there's always something to get you to that next step. Okay, now time to put in all the pieces. This goes back in here, that's fine. The reset on this is actually not that difficult when you think about it. Uh, this just unscrews and goes back in here, this as well. Uh, no, this was at the top here. This is really cool too, the first little movement that happened. Really like that a lot. This goes back in here. I think I can just, yeah. How sweet is that? Like that's your first tool there. Very cool, that is back to normal. The peg that goes in here on the ball bearing, back in here push it down, get it back to zero. And I think that is it. Oh no, I definitely have to move this back down and move this back forward, which I can't right now. Uh oh, ah yes, that is the one thing I didn't do. This has to go back. Yes, so that this can now go down. Yes, and now this can go forward and there we go. We are now back to square one. This thing is taking a bit of a beating as you can see. It's got some nicks and dents and fingerprints and you know, all in the name of solving a puzzle. I absolutely enjoyed it and it did take some brain power. It took a little bit of brawn, but uh, mostly just a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think about this puzzle in the comments below. I did enjoy this. I'm not going, I'm not going to enjoy editing this video, but uh, it was such a joy to uh, be able to solve. And if you guys like his puzzles, check out his website. I left it below, the MW Puzzles. Uh, I do believe I have another puzzle of his that we can solve in the near future. If you guys are interested, just let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.